A former Qantas employee who published a do-it-yourself terrorism book will spend at least nine years behind bars. Bilal Kazal was arrested five years ago for compiling an internet guide about shooting down planes and assassinating leaders of foreign governments. As he was sentenced today, his supporters shouted abuse at the court and claimed Kazal was being victimised. Leif Kasbin reports. There were ugly scenes outside the court as supporters of Bilal Kazal said he'd been victimised. Inside, security evicted the group as they berated the judge. Even his lawyer was talking tough. We've lost round one, but there'll be round two, which we intend to win by knockout. Last year, 39-year-old Kazal was convicted of making a document that could assist in a terrorist act. The 110-page manuscript was published on an internet site endorsed by al-Qaeda and urged violent jihad against foreign governments like Australia. Parts of the book promoted methods of assassination and the commission of acts of violence in the name of restoring the nation of Islam. As she sentenced Kazal to a minimum nine years jail, Justice Latham said there was a need for a strong deterrent for terrorism offences. She also said there was a need for a personal deterrent because Kazal had shown no remorse and continued to downplay his crime. It beggars belief that a person of average intelligence who had devoted themselves to the study of Islam would fail to register the nature of the material. This isn't the first time Kazal's been convicted of terror-related offences. In Lebanon in 2003, he was sentenced in absentia to 10 years hard labour for forming a terrorist association. He was also a known admirer of Osama bin Laden. I think he's a good man. Kazal's lawyers had argued because he cut and pasted most of the document from existing internet sites that he wasn't fully responsible for it. But Justice Latham disagreed. The prisoner has applied himself to the task of searching and downloading from the internet sites a quantity of material. I do not accept that he had not thereby demonstrated considerable application to the task. Kazal continues to deny the charge. His lawyers say the fight is not over. Adam, will you be appealing? There will be an appeal today. He will be eligible for parole in August 2017. Leave Casbin, Lateline.